I've got this brother from another mother who started something and I fell into it head over heels. This is going to be the backstory of this mail call. I can't help it. Got to tell the backstory. Eli, Mr. Revolver Guy, oh gosh, seems like it was February or March of this year. He started us shooting our 22s digging out all our ammo and seeing what works best in our guns and getting us to mail in targets so the best you can do at 50 yards. So there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of uh, different categories, scoped and iron sights and gosh, I don't even recall right now, but it really got me into shooting 22 i just didn't have an appreciation for it anymore so i get me a new front bag for my little stand here and in another mail call kyer sends me some kydex there to make a a nice cheek riser and i buy a little one feed magazine for a rifle that eli tells me about there's my bolts for putting this on my rifle and uh so eli tells me about this rifle right here savage mark ii that one's uh fvt i think they call it it's got a replaceable uh, globe front sight, got a beautiful adjustable, looks like a Lyman, it's not, uh, a rear peep, just top notch. Almost everything about it's top notch. The stock has a lot to be desired. That's, that's why I started getting ready with building a new cheek riser and everything. In the meantime, I'm trying to compete and I'm testing all this ammunition with, uh, uh, what was I using? 46D, uh, it's an antique rifle. And I discovered that at 50 yards with iron sights, it's no easy task. In fact, I discovered that most of these targets, and boy, I bought a few of them. If, if it could be used as a target, I, I bought a box of them to experiment with and see what's the best thing to aim at at 50 yards with open sights. And so I end up trying numerous targets of different configurations. I just, I never could make really good with it. You see here that there's been quite a few practice targets trying to come up with something I could send in that would give a respectable uh, score for the antique rifle division, iron sights, and of course I wanted to make a good showing for us old porch dogs. This goes on forever. Eli started something with me and I just can't quit it. This is incredible. But I've had a real good time and it has shown me a new appreciation for the 22. You know, ever since I started loading centerfire, you know, nothing else could compare. So the other day, I get me a box in the mail and I go, hey, hey, what did Eli send me? Because this is from Eli. Well, he sent me something really cool. He sent me a custom stock for that uh, Mark II rifle. Now, my rifle has been in the gun shop. Oh, Lord, he got it right before my birthday in April. And 
I had this expired driver's license and couldn't get it renewed because here behind enemy lines, we are in a condition known as communist lockdown. So all the state facilities closed, can't get anything done, had to go online. Of course, they won't test you online. I just needed to take written test. So these little boogers right here send me an extension on my license. And uh, as it turns out, our DOJ will not honor that extension because the license is, is expired. Therefore, I am expired. I am no longer me. And I can't pick up my nice Mark II rifle it's been sitting in the gun safe at my Smith shop since the end of March. Oh boy. But there's been so much take place and I've learned this new appreciation now for the 22 that eventually I'll get my license renewed. I'll get my rifle and then I can start right back into shooting like this. And Eli, I will turn in a good score using a peep system. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, brother. That is just an awesome, awesome gift. I can't wait to see some steel sitting in that. Man, I'm telling you, everybody in this big the Reloaders Network family are just awesome people. Content creators, shooters of every sort from plinkers to bench rest to people out there shooting hogs and stuff that are plaguing the, the farmers. We've got every caliber of hand loader, you know, from plinking to people that are making some really outstanding ammunition and uh, I'd just like to thank each and every one of you because since I've been involved with this network I have learned a great deal yes old dogs can learn new tricks and so I'm a testament to that Eli I love you brother you are one awesome guy thank you so very much Daisy bone, sleeping in the sun. How you expect to get your days work done? You never get your day.